Meet the Yates family. They've achieved a first in the dairy world. The first robot organic pasture based. <laughs> so if you go to enough, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, Dillaval have been promoting that. We are a bit unusual, but we think that the more valuable organic milk uh, suits the robot's system. They've introduced Dillaval's robotic milking machine, a 24 hour, seven day a week system that lets the cows do most of the work. Well, we're using robots to um, milk the cows at the time of day that they want to. The uh, use a voluntary system, a selection system, so that they come from the paddock and will milk themselves and go back to the paddock. Four months ago, the robot was installed. And David says most of the cows have gotten used to their new way of life. So sort of we're uh, keeping an eye on at this stage because they've only just been trained and uh, that would took a while training them but um, it's amazing how cows learn, they've got a lot of intelligence. It's not only the cows who are smart. As Brian explains, the robot's computer records every bit of data from each cow. Well each cow, as you've seen, is wearing a collar and uh, so they're identified when they go through the robot and all the information from that milking and also their movement around the farm is recorded on the, um, on the computer. Dillaval is an international dairy company that produces over 7,000 robotic milking systems worldwide and Heritage Farms will be the first in New Zealand to use this revolutionary voluntary milking system. David and his wife Kathy invested in the robot to reduce the physical workload. Well it suits us, it's not uh, cheaper than ordinary milking, it's a time we're able to adjust the time on our farm to suit ourselves more. But if you're thinking of jumping on the robotic wagon, David warns it may not be for everyone. I don't think it's for everybody. It suits us. The bigger farm would struggle with these machines because they've only got limited throughput per day. Probably the four robot farm with milking about 300 cows would be a very economic unit. So, if the Yates family is anything to go by, more dairy farmers in New Zealand could look forward to a sleeping on those cold winter days. Scott Milligan, Country 99 TV News.